Ago today, Molly Tibbetts' body was found in a cornfield just outside of Brooklyn. The gruesome discovery ended a month-long search for the missing 20-year-old. KCCI's Laura Terrell is in Brooklyn tonight to show us how one year later, the Pauschy County town has turned heartache into healing. August 21st is a hard day for the community of Brooklyn, but over the past year they've done everything to spread positivity, something known as Molly's Movement. It's just really shown the impact that she had in the community. Brooklyn, Iowa is quiet now. The missing posters are gone. The blue ribbons are now faded. One year ago, hearts broke across Brooklyn and the nation. It's hard on them. As investigators announced, they found Molly's body. People in town were speechless as they watched the news. It was a hard day for everybody. One year later, Molly's presence is still strong in the town she loved. I feel like a lot of Molly's character and hobbies and things sort of um, became relatable and hit not only locally and the state, but the nation. Thousands of these cards have gone out encouraging people to live like Molly. Children, adults, everybody are, are doing um, acts of kindness in Molly's name, which is really neat. Molly's movement has also brought to light several unsolved missing persons cases. They all need help and those families are desperate. Because no one understands that pain like the people of Brooklyn. For 12 months, they have prayed planned and pounded the pavement. We had so many people come out and it was all for Molly, something that she loved to do. So far, 30,000 miles for Molly have been logged. The second annual Molly's Memorial Run is set for next month, where hundreds will jog to the very spot where Molly was abducted. In a way, we finished her run for her. In the last year, tragedy has tested them, but has not broken the community of Brooklyn. It really has shown us what good there is in the world, it outweighs the bad. In Brooklyn, Laura Terrell, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.